the cows must all got wet this morning or they uh I really got wet it this morning now swing that gate there shut and let that one open so I can clean the manure now we're in this thing today see if we can get some heat going I think I turned the air conditioner on so we can go uh, spread manure got to get all the manure out well not all of it um, all that we got piled up we'll do the bottom barn today and then I'll do the bottom barn uh, tomorrow morning so yeah I'm thankful for a heated tractor I mean <laughs> yeah um, thankful for a heated tractor you know now that I look at it that little vent down there that's broke that don't mean nothing uh, turn my four wheel drive on uh, you can see there I think I want it in automatic mode so that's what it is or no auto is all the way forward that's what it is um, I'm gonna do uh, Q&A uh, you guys ask what questions you want to ask and I will uh, and I will answer them in the next video uh, so that is how that is going to go. Uh, let's start right here because I put manure right over there last time and I don't want to get this too heavy. Father, but you know that's all right it is what it is um, and a spreading we will go and a fogging up cab we will go as you can see as it starts right down there at the door and so we'll turn that down a little bit better manure it's stuff like that that we don't want to do uh, so I will straddle that rut there um, and not ready the field up any more than I already did um, would a vertical manure spreader be the better option for this and my answer to that would be no, um, just because of the simple fact that I can't see the world's greatest, and and I would be all over the place with trying to make sure it get, that everything gets all covered and everything um, the vertical manure spreader just wouldn't work for our application yes I'm sure there's some overlap with those but no I don't see it happening uh, we'll just keep what we got and keep running what we have so I got all the manure cleaned up I don't know what to do with that little bit there I gotta get a couple staples and try. You know, this thing's junk. Uh, Cause you can't back drag this hay and stuff. You just, so what I'm gonna do is see if I can't bend this back straight, run a couple staples in it. 
and put a couple boards or something down here because so i got something to push up against with the loader because you just can't back drag this stuff very good so i gotta put air in these tires they're just little puny little dwinky things and i take like what is it five pound air or something stupid like that i don't know but they need air because well, are you kidding me Valve stem just push right through. Huh. Hmm. And the problem with these uh, little tires, the log splitter's got the same... No. Log splitter's got the different size tires. Ah, uh, they're more for like a uh, truck. Is, uh... Oh, come on here. Put you down for a minute. Hmm. Hmm. Good and full. And just like that, um, these tires are, if something sits for a while, tires go flat. Um, I don't know if it'd be worth the money to put a tire jack in these little puny things or or not even waste my time with it. Um it's it's a good washer. It just don't have the heat. Where would we be without a hose reel? Ooh. And you can tell it's getting tired because it don't want to roll itself up anymore all the way. And I'm putting that back. Words. <laughs> oh, I've had them to where they uh, fall right in the trash can and all that, but that's beside the point.
Are you guys okay? There, that don't look too bad. Swatted all the ruts down out here. Big crane over there working. Um, kind of shouldn't have done what I did here because I brought up all the big gravel, but it is what it is. Uh, this down here turned out better than I thought it would after I just hit it from every direction. Um, and then uh, when it freezes, all the water should run that way. When it freezes, it'd be easier on me and the machine.